hear talking in the background, just ignore it. It's my parents being loud and not caring that I'm trying to film a video. It's your girl Camilla here and today I thought I would show you how to do one of my all-time favorite night out looks. It's this beautiful goldy brown color that works amazing for people with green eyes but also every eye color. But as someone with green eyes, that's, that's what I care about. Um, yeah, it's super simple. I use the Naked palette but of course you can use any of the any palette that uses these colors. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And cue my makeup -less face. I'm gonna start with my Devon by Demi Moisturizing Primer. Killing two birds with one stone by moisturizing and priming my face at the same time. And once that's soaked in nicely, I'm gonna move on to my foundation. I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Foundation in medium beige and putting that all over my face to even out my skin tone. Next I'm moving on to my favorite product. It's the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. I use this under my eyes and on my eyelids to brighten up my face. And then I'm going to powder under my eyes with a very old CoverGirl powder. Next I'm going to attempt to contour my face by using the NYX Wonder Stick Contour Stick. I'm not good at contouring, so this has made it pretty easy. I use the dark side under my cheekbones and on my nose and a little bit under my chin for that double chin action. Then I move on to the lighter color and highlight my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead along with my cupid's bow. And then I'm just going to blend all of that in with a foundation brush. I'm moving on to my e.l.f. Baked Blush and I'm putting that on the apples of my cheek and blending it upwards towards my hairline. And that's it for my face. Here's me acting weird. But now we can move on to the important part of this makeup look and that is my eyes. I'm starting with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and putting that all over my eyelids and then moving on to my Naked Palette. And I am taking the darker color, the darker brown color in the palette called Buck. I'm putting that in the corners of my eye and blending it into my crease and a little bit my upper lash line. And I suggest going really slowly and delicately with this. So using a little bit of product at a time and blending it until you get the look you want. So I just blend this out as much as possible until it looks nice and dark. Next we're moving into the important color of this look and that is Half Baked, this beautiful gold color in my palette. And I'm putting that all over my eyelid. Since this is the main feature of this look, we want this to be as dark and as visible as possible. So we're going to use a lot of product and slowly pat it on my eye until we get the effect we want. We're also going to make sure to blend it nicely into that brown color that we already used to avoid any harsh lines. Next we're going to move on to Dark Horse. It's this dark brown color with some nice gold sparkles in it and put that directly in the corner of my eyes to add a bit more darkness and a bit more dimension to the look. My number one tip here is that when you're putting a darker shade right beside a lighter shade like a bright gold, you have to make sure to blend as much as possible. Even when you think you're done, you're not. Keep blending to avoid harsh lines. So now we're moving on to the hard bit of any makeup look and that is the eyeliner. So I'm starting out with my New York Color Liquid Eyeliner and simply lining my lash line. 
Next, to wing my eyeliner, I'm actually using the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner. I find this product works perfectly for winging eyeliner. It's very precise and really easy to use, and I don't mess up as often as I normally would when using this product versus pretty much any other eyeliner product. So now we're actually going back in with the Naked palette and taking the three colors we use on my eyelids and putting them underneath my lower lash line. We're going to start with the gold in the inner corners and work our way out through Buck and Dark Horse into the outer corners of our eyes to add some dimension into the look and make it a bit more nighttimey, going out kind of look. Now that that's done, we're going to move on to my eyebrows, and I don't like coloring my eyebrows, so I simply use a L'Oreal brow brush, it's this nice brow mascara that adds, a bit, that adds a bit of darkness to my eyebrows, makes them a bit darker, and also keeps the hairs from getting all froofy around, keeps them where they're supposed to be. The last thing I'm going to do on my eyes is mascara, and I'm using a New York Color Angel Lash Mascara which I love. It has a really cool applicator and just makes my eyes look really big and bold. And of course the last part of this look is the lips and I'm using a Color Burst Lip Balm from Revlon in 105. So there you have it, there is this makeup look done for you. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave in the description box all the products that I used, so you don't have to go back and rewatch the video. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below, and if you have any suggestions of what I should do next. Um, and that's it. That's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. A wonderful week, a wonderful year, a wonderful all the time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I'm very sorry. I will see you guys very soon.